Everything about our country has always been about possibilities. From someone making an arduous journey here to make it to a country they don't speak the language and have no idea how they're going to be welcomed, why do they come? It's about the, just generically possibilities. And what I'm — what's changed in my career of late is the sense that there are significant limitations on our hopes and aspirations. And it, it, it used to be that the one thing everyone sort of believed in was that if we just got the best minds, we just got the best people, figuratively speaking, in a room, there wasn't anything we couldn't do. And I am so convinced you all have brought this process so far along that I'm convinced as we make progress in the near term, meaning the next five years or so, in this area, it's going to reawaken that sense in America beyond the health sciences, across the board, in the enormous possibilities that exist in this country. Mr. Vice President, Dr. Biden, it's a real honor to be here. Uh, I, uh, I'm here not as a cancer researcher, but I, I'm a fundamental biologist, and I, I feel I really represent many of my colleagues here who are doing basic research in biology that often leads us in unexpected directions. And in my own case, together with my colleagues, we came across a finding in research we were doing on bacterial immune systems that led to a technology for genome editing, which means being able to make very precise targeted changes to the DNA in cells, so precise that we can change a single letter in the DNA code in a human cell, for example. Now, what is this, why is this relevant to cancer? And I think there, I, there's sort of two points that I wanted to make. One is that I think it's going to be extremely valuable for research, understanding, you know, taking the data that Jeff and many others are generating and being able to understand what changes in cells are the real drivers of cancer and, furthermore, what are the appropriate targets for therapeutics. So I think that's one use that this will be incredibly valuable for. But I'm also very optimistic about this technology being important as a therapy in its own right, especially coupled with uh, immunotherapy, being able to use it in the immune system to help program the immune system to target cancer cells. We've already seen a really exciting example of this in the UK with a young child who had leukemia and was treated with immune cells from another donor that had been uh, edited using genome editing. So I think this is the tip of the iceberg, and um, I just would love to uh, see the cancer moonshot continue to support fundamental research that leads to breakthroughs that are going to be critical to address this mission. Well, you sold me on that in Davos. I, no, I really mean it, as my staff will tell you. Uh, there is a consensus uh, among the folks about focusing on basic research um, and how important that is in this in this in this uh, effort with your help you know I may help facilitate the things that you are on the on the verge of doing doctor thank you so much for letting me be here thank you. Thank you.